Tinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. And Former Lagos State Governor Senator Bola Tinubu is Nigeria's president-elect after defeating 17 other presidential candidates. Yes. Senator Tinubu comes to the office bearing the promise of a renewed hope. Whatever the cause, we are going to charge the path together. We are going to embark on this journey together. Mr. Tinubu entered Nigeria's political scene in 1992, joining the Social Democratic Party as a member and eventually securing a seat as a senator representing Lagos West constituency in Nigeria's short-lived Third Republic in 1993. We, we employ people purely on merit. Following the annulment of the June 12 elections that year, Senator Tinubu joined many who fought for the restoration of the mandate of the late Moshuda Abiola as president, forming the pro-democratic group, the National Democratic Coalition. When those efforts failed and General Sanya Bacha came into power, Senator Tinubu went into exile in 1994, returning in 1998 after General Sanya Bacha died. In 1999, he was sworn in as the governor of Lagos State on the platform of the Alliance for Democracy, where he served for eight years. Some achievements recorded in those eight years include instituting reforms that greatly improved the welfare of judicial officers, pioneering the bus rapid transit system, creating and rehabilitating a massive road infrastructure network still in existence today, and rehabilitating and creating several housing projects across Lagos, among others. In February of 2013, Tinubu was among several politicians who merged the Action Congress of Nigeria, the Congress for Progressive Change, the All Nigeria People's Party, a faction of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, and the new PDP, a faction of the then ruling People's Democratic Party, into the All Progressives Congress, APC. Bola Tinubu has had his share of scandals. After leaving office in 2007, he was brought before Nigeria's Code of Conduct Bureau, accused of operating over 16 foreign accounts. A bullion van was sighted entering his Bodilion residence in Ikoyi during the 2019 general elections, raising concerns that he planned to rig the exercise. He has carried the toga of the godfather of Lagos since his years as governor, a reference to his reputation as kingmaker in the nation's political circle, especially in the southwestern part of the country. Nonetheless, after winning the APC primaries in 2022, Senator Tinubu forged on to the grueling campaign phase, culminating in the presidential elections of February the 25th, which has produced him as president-elect. A Bola Tinubu presidency will be hinged on his eight-point agenda, focusing on leadership, technology, security, infrastructure, homegrown business, education, and true federalism. In a country largely divided and bogged down by security and economic challenges, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, now president-elect, has his work cut out for him. Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.